Hi, I'm Jimmy Miller. I'm the Delta B SIS Business Development Manager. We're here today in the Integrated Operations Center in Austin, Texas to talk to you about proof testing your safety instrument system. A proof test is all about making certain that in the event that you need a safety function to take over and bring your plant to a safe state, that it'll do that, right? So when you design your system, be it SIL 1, SIL 2, or SIL 3, you have proof testing requirements. And periodic times you have to go out and do testing on entire safety loops. A lot of people perceive proof testing to be a very risky activity. And the reason is, is because your safety system is designed to sit out there and perform on demand. And many times that demand never ever happens, which is what we'd like to happen. But when it does, it's normally plenty of time between those, uh, those, those incidents. So when we go out and do a proof test, that means that we're actually physically touching that safety system. We're worried about availability. We never want our plant to come down because we want to be able to continue making product. People worry that once they touch their safety system and perform this, roof, this loop test or proof test, this is going to cause some type of an upset in the condition and trip their plant. And that's a valid concern for certain. Traditional safety systems, uh, it was very, very hard to do loop tests. So they would go out and only do loop tests whenever they were doing specific shutdowns, normally uh, during a turnaround activity. And some critical processes, those turnaround activity periods were between three, five, and seven years. Most of the time, you have to go out and, and test safety instrumented functions 12, 18, or 24 months apart. So to, to go four, five, seven years in between proof tests, you're putting yourself at a lot of risk inside of your process. With Delta VSIS with Electronic Martian, we make that proof testing easier for you. We can automate many of the tasks associated with it. We can do things like partial stroke testing on digital valve controllers. And what partial stroke testing does is it extends the amount of time that you have in between those required proof tests, right? We still have to do an end-to-end -end proof test from time to time, but doing things like partial stroke testing and some others allows you to extend that period out. Another thing to consider is people are your plant's most valuable assets. So anything we can do to avoid sending people out into a potentially hazardous situation or a hazardous area, we want to be able to do that. With Delta VSIS, we can automate many proof testing tasks, and we can also do proof testing from the comfort of your control room instead of having to send someone out there with a handheld communicator to actually initiate that proof test. So with regards to partial stroke testing, what a partial stroke test is, is you take your, your safety valves, who you, again, you hope never have to actually close in a safety situation, but in the events you do, you want to make sure that that valve is going to move. So what a partial stroke test does is it just moves that valve a little bit to assure you that that valve will move uh, when called upon to do so. Right here we have a Fisher DVC 6200 SIS, and that's a safety rated digital valve controller. One really unique thing about this device here is it gives you feedback in a couple of different flavors. So I can give you a discrete feedback to say yes I'm open or yes I'm closed, or I can use an analog feedback to give you a position, an actual position of that safety valve. You normally would say that's not really that important because the safety valve is, is discrete, right? It's either on or it's off, it's either open or it's closed, but it's nice to know if you tell that valve to close and it closes at 85%, you know you're not completely shut off. So with this valve, we actually are using the analog signal feedback, and that's what we're using to assure that the valve is completely open or completely closed. Parcel stroke testing can be accomplished in several different ways, and one of those is to initiate it from the operations environment, and the other way is to initiate it from the asset management system, either manually or automatically. A lot of people like to go ahead and do parcel stroke testing on an automatic basis, where every month or every week or every six months it goes out and it does that parcel stroke test automatically. So this is a, an AMS dashboard, so if I wanted to initiate a parcel stroke test directly from my asset management system, I would do it from here. I would hit parcel stroke test, it would give me, uh, give me results, and then I'm good to go, right? But one really unique thing about Delta VSIS is I can actually initiate a parcel stroke test directly from the operations environment, and that's what I'm doing here. I've clicked on partial stroke test and I've confirmed that yes, I do indeed want to do that. So once our partial stroke test is complete, we'll get a dialog box saying the testing is complete and then all that information gets pushed over into the Delta VSIS Event Chronicle. The Event Chronicle is great. It's an Excel spreadsheet type form. Once you get the information, it's there. You can use it there. You can export it somewhere else. Uh, and you can use that as part of your proof testing records for compliance to IEC 61511 as well. So that's proof testing with Delta VSIS with electronic marshalling. We remove the complexity, we remove the risk, we make it easier for you to be in compliance with IEC 61511. For more information, please contact us at www.deltavsis.com or contact your local Emerson Safety Sales representative. Thanks and have a great day.